A Kansas City community is at odds over a proposed bed and breakfast. This is in the area of Grandview Road and East 100th Terrace. As 41 Action News reporter Amy Holly shows us, city council members will have the final say. Well, this piece of property once used to be a group home on five acres of land, and it sat empty for a long time, became dilapidated, but none of that worried m neighbors much around here until a young realtor who bought it redid it and told them he wanted to rezone it as a bed and breakfast. Johnny Youssef buys and sells properties. This is another one he had his eye on. So in 2012, he redid this strangely configured home meant for many dwellers. He redid it in hopes to bring in visitors for one or two night stays. But neighbors say he's brought in unwanted traffic and noise on their quiet rural-like road in South Kansas City. And if it's rezoned as a bed and breakfast, they worry more of that will come. But Yusuf believes the worry over a bed and breakfast is about something more. The home is located about two and a half miles away from the International House of Prayer, his church. Some residents say they worry the home would really be meant for international visitors and group gatherings from the church. More traffic and noise. But Youssef says he believes the resistance lies with his affiliation with the church and his faith. To them, but that would be discrimination. I mean, they cannot say, we don't want you moving here because of your faith. You know, I understand if they don't want me moving here because I'm breaking laws, but if I'm not breaking laws and if I'm taking care of the property and improving it, they can't just try to find any excuse to get me out of the neighborhood. It's not going to be a bed and breakfast. I can't imagine a bed and breakfast. It's more of a um, gathering facility for meetings, conferences, something like that. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt in my mind that that's what it is, another meeting facility um, for that organization. It looks like just a simple piece of property back behind me, but people around here are extremely passionate about this issue, and City Council will take it up tomorrow. They'll have a final say sometime this week. In South Kansas City, Amy Holly, 41 Action News.